Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Hair's getting dry from a fresh wash and go. It is incredibly sunny today. Have the shade down, it's gonna serve as my filter. That's why I look ultra washed out, but I wanted to let you know. In today's video, let's lay out the agenda. We will be taking a look at the new ColourPop Summer collection i managed to pick up their two eyeshadow palettes as well as two of their super shock highlighters we'll take a look at the swatches and we'll do an eye look and what i would like to accomplish is do a palette for each eye i know that's gonna look a little cray cray i'm dying to use both palettes i don't want to do one palette for two take it off and another i'm just gonna do and see what happens and maybe even go out like that see what people's reactions will be if you want to see the new color pop summer eye palettes and maybe their super shock highlighters see how they do on my eyeballs then please keep on watching the hair cocktail for today is Mayel organics avocado hair milk and their honey and ginger styling gel this is pretty much how it's looking dry friends i only have a few wet spots in the crown of my head but we're doing good i like what's happening eyebrows are done also carved i use the born this way from Too Faced in the shade Sand, which I have been dying over. Full review video will be listed down below. I also managed to apply the Born This Way foundation in Praline. If you wanna see the application in terms of just the color matching, that will be in my Born to Run Urban Decay eyeshadow palette video, also listed down below. I didn't set it yet because I want to now apply the concealer again in sand and i want to now i want to apply the super shark highlighters on wet skin because i think the formula is just better on that canvas <laughs> oh, i spent the last 20 minutes trying to figure out why my camera wouldn't record okay we erase the memory card now there's a memory card error message on my camera there's an article about how google is making a stupid listen man if it wasn't for google i wouldn't have been able to start recording again so thank you very much troubleshooting steps <laughs> okay let us now finally start this video as I mentioned before, I'm not sure if I did, but I'll mention it again. I applied the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Praline. I am now going to apply the concealer in the shade Sand, also from the Born This Way line. And then I'll go in with the Super Shock shadows because I prefer this formula on freshly concealed skin. And again, my apologies for the brightness. It is a beautiful day now here at NYC. The humidity is low and the sun is high. Bright in the sky, not a cloud to be seen. A little goes a long way with this concealer and that's why it is a great buy. You get 15 meals of product, 0.5 ounces of product for $29 and it will last you, okay? Using my Morphe G2 brush. Look at that, look at all that concealer. Concealer is on, let's take a look at these Super Shock shadows. ColourPop's Super Shock Cheek Highlighter retails for $8 and you get 4.2 grams of product or 0.15 ounces of product. I purchased two shades. I have Double Down and Thimble. Double Down is an icy ivory shade. Thimble is a frosty light gold. Here are both shades together. I like Double Down because of that pinky hue it has and I dig mixing pinks and golds on my cheekbones. This is a nice combination. What I will do now is... <laughs> what happened? I already messed it up! How could you? I will now apply Thimble to the high points of my cheekbones and I'll see what that does just on freshly concealed skin. The light is so bright, it's like washing out <laughs> everything. Now keep in mind the Super Shock highlighting formula is very creamy and it has a bouncy texture to the compact. And I think this is ideal to apply on skin instead of trying to apply this on powder and concealer. This is an ideal formula for that no makeup look. If you don't want to put foundation on, but maybe just a skin tint or BB cream on and apply this to the high points of your face, I think it just gives you a beautiful lip from within glow. Low key, not too crazy. If you're not into that high metallic sheen, type of deal, I think this is perfect for you. I think the packaging is great, it's easy to travel with, and because it is a creamy formula, you don't have to worry about it breaking. 
although that has happened to my uh, Super Shock eyeshadows, I think one of them had crumbled. For some reason, I think the highlighters hold up better against if your makeup bag goes on for a ride. Gets a little bumpy in the suitcase. This is how Thimble looks. What do we think? Like, I can't see anything. You look all one color. Great! Now I want to go in with Double Down, which is the ivory shade, on top of Thimble to the center. Ooh! I like how that looks. This is a good idea. I love Thimble and Double Down together. I think they're very pretty together. And again, because of its creamy texture, it's not going to look... Uh, cakey or overdone you can layer these highlighters without fear of it looking too much or too nuts all right friends we still have to set the concealer and with that i'll take the born this way ethereal setting powder i purchased this a few days ago and i've been loving it ever since i purchased and have been loving the super concealer from the born this way line i have been on a Born This Way Rampage. I want everything born this way now. Taking my Wayne Goss number two in that powder, making sure that we punch in the creases, and I'm just taking it right where I need it, under the eyes. Sometimes I do this, apply my highlighter, and then the powder. I understand sometimes it's tricky because if the highlighter runs in this way, the powder might cover it. But I think if you're really careful with how you apply the powder, it could work out well. And I'm powdering center my forehead. I'm really getting in and around my nose area. Who's picking up the new Huda loose powder, friends? Not gonna lie, I've seen some dope reviews on it, but the one thing that's keeping me, I mean, several things. People are not a huge fan of Huda because of the delay in featuring a lot of uh, women of color, men of color on her makeup page. She's now doing it because perhaps it was brought to her attention. And then all of a sudden you see several black artists on her feet. Other thing is the whole biting off the beauty bakery theme. Beauty bakery's baking theme is the whole brand. Whereas with Huda's launch, they use the bake concept for that promotion. In the beauty bakery powder, it's housed in a bag that says flour and it's the loose powder is marketed as like flour for baking. And of course, Huda's campaign is all about baking because her loose powders are named different desserts. Pound cake, banana bread, kunafa, which is like a Middle Eastern dessert. And everyone's like, oh, she bit off beauty bakery. Yes, it it is similar but it's just that campaign and people are copying everyone left and right those are all reasons to consider the one thing that's keeping me from purchasing this powder is that it is heavily fragranced everyone that's applied that powder is like oh my god and i did try a foundation when it first launched i got a sample from sephora and i did not like her foundation i thought it was very heavy i thought it was heavily fragrant and it stayed with you the whole day which blew not my ideal situation i don't want to smell my foundation on me all day it's just like no thank you but everyone has been raving about how their under eyes looked when using the huda powder so i don't know man let me know down below what you think about the whole uh beauty bakery thing about the fragrance anything a lot of people aren't crazy about huda i get it i think the appeal is that she started as a blogger and now she has her own makeup line and when bloggers create makeup lines you think that they are going to be immaculate because they've tried everything and now they're making something that they feel they didn't find in the industry at the time that they're being as innovative as they can in terms of formulas finishes packaging down off below let me know what you think about that all right face is set i i really love the setting powder it makes my face my skin feel incredibly soft without looking powdery or cakey i my my skin feels light, it doesn't feel overly made up, and I did take pictures of how my uh, skin looked yesterday after maybe eight hours of wear. Oh my god, I am so, this sun is making me so light. Here, I'm, I'm sitting back because it's like, I am not this light, okay? I put on praline for Christ's sakes, and I also apply the super concealer in honey. 
on top of praline. And I think I'm gonna keep honey. I'm not gonna get warm sand. I was afraid honey will look cooler or too gray on my skin if I applied it on praline. And surprisingly, it's all blending beautifully together. It doesn't look discolored. It doesn't look weird. We're doing good. Let's get into these eyeshadow palettes. Alisa, you talk too much. Of course, I purchased both because... <laughs> These retail for $12 each. This is the Soul palette. You see the packaging, very indicative of sunshine, warmth, rays. I love the inside of the box. You have yellow and sunshine prints all over on the inside. Here is the actual palette and the shape names behind. This is a new layout for them. It is a nine pan layout and very uh, similar to the Kylie Cosmetic eyeshadow palettes, but these are smaller pans, but still significantly cheaper. And the mirror, edge to edge, super big. Palette still feels light, not heavy at all. It has a clasp closure, plastic compact. I like. Here is the Mar palette, which is C in Spanish. Same layout, different color. All, of course, mod indicated by the blue. When you open this up, the inside you have, it's very hard to see, but you have like what looks like water. Mod in the metallic shiny finish in the lettering. Back you have the shade graph. Same clasp closure, same size mirror, and here are your shades. This is currently sold out, but the dual bundle is not. You can still get both on the website, it'll just be $24, no special price. This collection launched with four Super Shock highlighters as well as three Ultra Blotted Lips. The Ultra Blotted Lips, I believe, retail for $6. I'm gonna check for you. Yes, $6. I didn't get the Ultra Blotted Lip because I'm into the glossy lip right now. And although the shades looked gorgeous, especially uh, the Ocean Drive shade, which is like a hot uh, orangey coral, it it appealed to me and I was like, stop it, just get what you need. I don't need these either, but of course I do, stop it. I believe I'll do Mod on this side and Sol on this side because I want to try both palettes and I'm gonna put it all on one video. Also keep in mind that this is a very edited version of the Morphe 3502. <laughs> Lids are powdered. I'm gonna powder a little more though because I don't wanna deal with any stickiness. I'm gonna do that and you know what time it is. Okay, I'm gonna start with Mod, and I think I will now go in with Boozy. That Boozy? No, it's not. Sorbet. Hands could be better glued as I was swatching them. They were swatching with me, and I kind of have to press them down, but it's all good. I mean, can't have everything, I guess, for $12. Pans that don't turn, that's asking for too much. Wayne Goss number three again with Sorbet. First on the crease. I'm sorry, I don't have my clips, but look at those edges. They could be a little more laid, but I did I did it the best that I could. I don't have uh, edge gel, I just used my Honey and Ginger Styling Gel when the hair was wet and I just slapped them down. That's mad, I kind of love how it looks. And I love how this is blending, okay. Now with Sol, I think I want to do Dynamite first. My Wayne Goss number three. See how that goes. I also have to take Maddie to the vet and I think um, I'm just gonna go to the vet like this because why not, baby? The Soul palette comes with four mattes and the Mod palette comes with three. And then the rest are metallics and shimmers. I think it's great for travel, the smaller uh, compact, but you still get nice shadows, proves it's very helpful. That's looking nice. And now I wanna take new digs, same brush, I just blend out the edges here of Dynamite. And I'm building up the color with Dynamite as well because I want this to show. So this is how we're looking. This side is already red hot. This side more low key because we're gonna go in with these blues in a minute. I think I'm gonna go in with uh, Detour. Dying to see how this blue shade is working. Will it work? Oh my god, my brushes are so dirty. Now with my Wayne number four, I'm gonna start low. I was watching Dupe That and she had a little bit of trouble with this shade. But I'm gonna take my time, just use light 
barely there, grazy strokes, because I already see that it's skipping here, and I'm trying to smooth that out as best as I could. Not bad. I still am trying to be careful because you see this edge right here? I'm trying to smooth that out while keeping it low. I don't want it to go up too high towards my brow. That's why with very little product on the brush, I'm just working on blending it out. And then slowly as well, start to wing it out. Taking a little more on the outer corner. Not bad. Liking this so far. On this side, I'm going to take Oh, 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 which is out of office for the email groups. Oh, 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 I'm now going to use my Smith 235 with very hot orangey shade. I'm taking that right under the first two. Oh, that's orange. It's like neon. And I'm reporting little to no fallout with these mats, friends. Especially with the blue, we got no blue sprinkles on our face. I think that blended out fairly well. All right, looking red hot on the lids. I always love when I do two different eyes. It just looks so crazy, but I kind of love it. Stay on this side and apply, what is the shade? Unwind, same brush. I wanna see how much depth we can create with this shade because there's a lot of kickback going on in the pan. It looks light. And my fear, I, I always feel like I encounter with layering mattes is when I get to the defining shade, the defining shade doesn't have anything to grab onto because there's already so much shadow on my lids that I might have sealed my fate when using this shade. And this is having a hard time show up. I mean, I do see a little bit it might just have to be a shade that works on its own. What I will do, I'm gonna cross over, maybe apply top down. So I wanna get extra depth in here, which I think is adding more of. Like I'm, I could see it. I feel if you're gonna use the hot, spicy neon orange shade, that that deep tan shade is not gonna show up on it. Hair, excuse me. It's a little better. Going back to this eye, I think I now want to apply, hmm, I really want to see what this is doing. I think now with my nameless small shader brush, I'm going to take it dry first, see what it does. Hit it right over my lid. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Get a little more punch. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. I like that a lot. Oh yeah. This is the shade I want. This is like straight up glitter in it. It is ultra reflective, but I want to place that on the outer corner, blending it in with that seafoam green. HWI, because I think it's gonna add nice dimension to the lid. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, snap -a doodles That's looking pretty smooth. For the inner corner, I think I want to do... What is this? Boozy. Same brush. I made sure that I wiped it off. Inner corner, because I want to see some of these gold bronzy shades perform. Oh. Oh. Getting a little crumbly. Just a little bit. Might have to uh, lay down concealer, or maybe because my brush was wet, it's like, what are you doing? Excuse me. I'm gonna take another shader brush that's not wet. This is my Wayne number seven. Maybe try it again and press it on. Ugh, it's not staying. Think maybe because I already have so much shadow on the lid. So what I'll do, I'll pick some up on my small shader that I used originally. I'll spray it, maybe that will help it stick better to the inner corner. Let's see what that does. Little better. I'm gonna use my finger just to get those particles in. This was a tougher shade to work with. I'm not sure it was because I already layered 
so many shimmers already on my lid and was having trouble latching on. What I will do now is go to this eye, perhaps, mm -hmm. ooh, friends, I think I need to use this shade. It's really it's speaking to me. This is now Anthem on my Wayne Goss shader. See what that does dry? Not crazy about it dry. Let's wet this sucker. See what that does. Much better. There she is. Got it. Got it. Oh yeah. That's shiny. For the inner corner, hmm, I think I want to do this orange shade, which reminds me of the Natasha Denona shade in her Sunset palette. Same shader, inner third. That's pretty. All right, these are what the lids are looking like. I'm crazy about this shade. I'm actually going to take some on my finger and just pat a little more to the center to kick up the brightness. What I will do, because I want to see how this shade works better, and with that, using my Luxie 231, I'm going to drag it along my lower lash line. I want to see what it does on its own because it doesn't fare off well when layered on the mats or the rest of them. It's not a deep brown. It's a kind of like a deep terracotta. I'm trying to pull this out a bit. Of course, it's already getting crazy up here. I do want to take Dynamite with the same brush and just graze under... What is this shade called? Unwind. Getting a little crazy. Now, the one thing that I am observing is that these palettes are very heavy in color. If you are medium to light, you will need to dip out for your brow bone highlight, for your inner corner highlight. If you are deeper in skin tone, you're probably good. A lot of these gold shades, I think, will serve as really beautiful brow bone highlights and inner corner highlights. Let me know down below if you picked it up, if you're on the deeper end of the spectrum and how that's working out. Even tan, I feel, will need a lighter color. I could try to see if this will work. This is b and I'm going to pop that to my inner corner. I mean, it's a nice shade. It's not light gold. This is showing up like as a deep rose gold shade that works out on my inner corner because sometimes I like to put color there. But if you're looking for a more neutral reflective shade, you will definitely have to dip out. I'm just cleaning this up because I feel like it could look better, but you know what? I'm just gonna keep it like that. Definitely wanna go in with this shade. It is called Motel with my pinky. Gonna stamp it right to the center. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that. Adds a little to the look. Back to this eye. Hmm. What are we gonna do with this lower lash line, friends? Maybe we should just do the blue, or should we try one of these shades? How about this one? This is my way. Let me find my pencil brush. Holy marbles. I just looked up. I saw that it stopped recording. I don't know at one point. I will let you know down below any steps that I missed while editing. I will include those. <laughs> God, oh buddy. I like how that looks under the eyes. I think it works out fairly well. This shade now, I'm going to go in. This is El Rey. With my pinky to the inner corner. Oh, I think that's really pretty as an inner corner highlight. If you end up getting both palettes, I think this will work out better as your accent shade on inner corner and brow bone. In fact, let's try it out. I'm going to take my large shader, my MAC large shader, in with that same color. I'm going to hit that on the brow bone, see what that does. And I'm just taking it right under the arch. I'm not going to take it all the way. And it's a, it's a little pigmented. But I think it works out. If you use a light hand and buff it out, I think it will work well. I you liking the blue side versus the coral? The coral side got a little crazy. I do want to apply, I think I want to do this shade with my pinky. Because as you know, I want to stamp something to the center of my lash line. And on top of that first metallic shade, I think 
it works out pretty well. All right, friends, I'm gonna apply some mascara and I'll be right back. Oh my heavens, I was spritzing my life away and I realized that I didn't do the swatches. I know swatches are no indication of how well an eyeshadow blends, but it's just to kind of give you a sense of the color, what it looks like on my skin tone, and it's just fun. It's very satisfying. Let's do soul first. I'll go row by row. New digs, anthem, dynamite. Hotel, motel, B and B. Floaties, out of office, and unwind. And here you have the Soul palette. El Rey, wild one, detour. Boozy, gridlock, and sorbet. HWY, top down and my way and here is your mark palette i had a blast using these the one shade that i was disappointed with of course from soul was the deep brown shade i relied on it as a defining shade and looking at it now when layered on the other mattes it just was not going to show up my palette is a mess there's a lot of kickback in the pans i mean everything is all over i'm just gonna that away if you're gonna buy one of the two i will definitely get mod it is currently sold out and i think it's because not only do you have the pops of blue the seafoam the turquoise but you have your neutral shades as well as your bronze gold metallics you could do an easy going summer eye with the bronze or you can do a fun blue eye which is very summery in regards to the ocean and the beach don't get me wrong soul is gorgeous as well but if you have these colors already if you don't like blue shadows if you stay stay far away from them but you love the hot neon orange and the the pinks the golds and the reds and definitely go with soul as always color pop is a great buy twelve dollars for nine shades a compact that comes with a full size mirror i mean full full size i love holding it in one hand it feels comfortable i think this is ideal for travel i feel this is even more ideal than their 16 pan shadow palettes they don't have the shade names on under they were doing that with their 16 pans but maybe they will eventually with the nine pan design as far as the super shock highlighters i love them on bare skin i'm not crazy about them on makeup just because i don't think it's an ideal formula to layer over your powder and i just realized that i did not put my lower lash mascara one second please oh that's better let me know if you picked up any of the summer collection from ColourPop, whether you picked up soul or mod if you picked up any of the ultra blotted lips any of the super shock highlighters for the face i definitely was most impressed by and liked the most the mod palette i did have a little trouble blending out the matte blue shade and you do have to build it up i think it's ideal if you work on a concealer powdered lid because on bare skin i don't think it'll show up as well as saturated and it will blend out patchy it will help if you had some powder on the lid first i didn't need this balance but i decided to buy it anyway so now what time is it i gotta take maddie to the vet i love how my hair is looking today friends i use the Maya organics uh, deep mink conditioner today as well as the hair milk and gel as i mentioned in the beginning of the video i put on a lot of hair milk and i really love how my hair dried and turned out i love the shape and i use a lot of milk but my hair still feels very lightweight look at that definition later i'm going to film a myel video giving you a lowdown of all the products that i have been using they were very generous enough to send me a pr package and i am thrilled that i'm finally receiving pr because i want to review more hair more makeup for you and the hair and makeup budget is getting low and it is helpful to receive pr i know a lot of bloggers charge for reviews and and i'm not against sponsored posts as i am an independent contractor and every minute is hustle for me i have been purchasing Mile Organics even before they sent me products because I have been a fan but I want to talk about a lot more products that I've used from that package and want to give you a lowdown of what I think of them and that my friends is a wrap thank you all so much for watching I hope this video helped and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on here again with another get ready with me review demo or chit chat take care and I'll see you again soon